Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw overlapping histograms in R. So let's say we want to compare two sets of data and uh, visualize the comparison between them. And I have a data set here, it's called 35 underscore data underscore file dot CSV, a CSV file. And this contains data on the heights in centimeters of 50 men and 75 women. Now I have this file in my uh, working directory here. So let's take a look at it. Click on view file. And you can see there, I've got the heights in um, female and males uh, throughout these data. So we've got um, uh, 50 males and 75 females. So that's what the data set looks like. It's a data, simple, fictitious data set that I've made up uh, with uh, just two variables in it. So go back to my code. This file and all uh, data files and R scripts in this video series are available to you to download in my GitHub. And you'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video. So let's first of all go ahead and read in this file. Okay, we can see we've got a variable called height and it has uh, two uh, values in it, male and female. And you can see we've got uh, the number of observations, 75 because of 75 um, women in this data set of two variables. So we've read in our data set successfully. Let's take a look at the uh, first six lines of the data set. Click on line seven and choose run. And we can see in our console uh, the two variables and the first six lines being displayed here. Uh, I'm displaying this so, so I can see the exact variable names and how to spell them. Now I could uh, draw, let's draw two separate histograms and compare them. So hist, I'm going to do a hist for, in this case, height, dollar sign. Let's do um, females first, uh, run that piece of code. And we can see we've got a histogram over on the right hand side. We just squash that up a little bit, give it more room. So we can see a simple histogram of female data. And let's do a histogram, a uh, similar one for H-E-I-G-H-T for the male data. Run, run, run line 10. And we can see that uh, males look like they're significantly taller than the females. So uh, for purposes of comparison, I have to switch back and forth here using the back and forward arrows in the in 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 uh, our studio to compare my two uh, histograms. And I I'm finding that awkward. Um, so what I'd like to be able to do is to uh, have both sets of variables on the one histogram. So this is what, what we are going to do. You'll also notice if we look at the histogram uh, on the right hand side here, um, by default uh, for the female, the uh, um, lowest value is 155 centimeters and the highest is 185. And when I switch to the, uh, for males, the lowest value is 160, the highest is 195. So I want to have some consistency in the um, y, uh, sorry, the x axis in this case. So I'm going to need to do a completely new um, hist function here. So I'm going to start it out. And my approach here is I'm going to draw the female one first and then add the male, male one in on top of it. So I won't need to draw out the male one in full. I'm just going to add it to the first one. So let's create the first histogram. I, I'm, as I say, I'm going to use uh, female. I'll put in a comma. So that's the same as I've done already. I want to give it a heading. Main equals and whatever I wanted this to be inside the inverted commas. So I'm just going to go height histogram. You can choose your own name for this. Go after the inverted commas here and put in a, um, uh, an ordinary comma and press enter to move down to the next line. Now, really, really important aspect of this histogram is to use, uh, is to set the colors. So what we want to do is we want to pick a color for the female diagram, pick a color for the male diagram, and then have a transparency, if you like, so that when one plots on the other, we can see the, the, dif the difference between the two plots. So we're going to use the, the call, call parameter is how we specify the color. And this time, instead of uh, typing out an actual color, I'm going to use a new function called RGB, which is, stands for red, green, and blue open and close brackets. And in here, I want to add in four parameters. So the first four, first parameter I'm going to put in is one for red, zero for green, and zero for blue. And I'm going to add in a number 0 0.5 because this is the one that gives us the transparency for our data set. You can, once you've got the, the workings of this, you can change the values in here to experiment with whatever you like to get. I want to give it the um, a title for the X label. So that's X lab is equal to, just in inverted commas, I'm going to put in heights, and it's in centimeters, so just to give that information there. So that's just to give us a, a more complete diagram. Another comma, again, press enter to move down to the next row. 
And we saw in our previous diagram, uh, as we can see here on the right hand side, that the minimum and maximum values differ for each histogram. So we want to make that consistent. So I'm going to set the uh, limits for the uh, x, um, x axis. So x lim is how you do that. x lim parameter is equal to, uh, and we're going to use the uh, combined function here to put in the two values, 150, let's say for the lowest, and 200 for the highest. So watch your, watch your uh, matching brackets in there. And we also want to do the same for the y um, axis. So y lim is equal to, again, use the combine operator. We want to start out at 0, comma, and say 30, which should be suitable. OK, so just to recap, we've got, we're using the hist function. We're doing a hist function for the female data only in this case here. We're adding in a, a title to our histogram. Uh, very importantly, using the call and RGB function to set the colors. Uh, RGB, uh, I'm going to set my first one to be 1, so that's red, and 0 for green and 0 for blue, uh, with a value of 0 0.5 for transparency purposes. I'm giving the X axis a label of heights and centimeters, and I'm setting the limits for both the X and the Y axis so that we can get some consistency here. So let me plot this. And when I plot this diagram, we can see we've got the data for male. It's coming up in, for, for the females. I've got my title. I've got my frequency on the left-hand side. And we can see um, that our uh, data set is going from 150 um, up to 200 in this case here. So we've got no values in uh, females and both. But we want this for when we add in the um, male histogram. So that's the female histogram drawn. Now we need to uh, add in the male data. So I'm not going to do this exact same piece of code for the male data. That would just give me two separate histograms again. So I want to be able to add it in. So I'm going to use the hist function to do this. And of course, I need to tell it what the variable name is. So um, height um, dollar sign male in this case. Watch again, watch out for your capitals. I need to use the call function again. So I'm going to move down to the next line to keep this consistent. Call is equal to RGB again. Now this time, I'm going to set the first value. Note on line 13, my values were 1, 0, 0, and 0 0.5. So this time, I'm going to have the first value is 0, the second value is 0. I'm going to change the third value to 1, and again use 0 0.5 for transparency. Uh, as before, you can um, always experiment with these values. So after the open and close brackets here, I'm going to put in a comma and press Enter. And the last thing I need to do now, this will, this will draw a histogram by itself, but I want to add this to the previous one, and I just use the add parameter, which is a brilliant little parameter. I set this to true, and this will add my male data on top of the female data. So let me just uh, plot this or run this piece of code. And we can see on the right-hand side where the uh, male and female data has been um, plotted together on the same one. And we also see another color here. Uh, it's, an, it's purple on my screen showing where the data overlaps. Let's zoom in on this to get a better picture. And I think you'll agree that that's a much, much nicer uh, um, histogram, a uh, single histogram, rather than plotting the two together. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a legend to this histogram. So that's how you draw overlapping histograms in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.